Hey everybody, Josh the Editor here, and I'm here to react to the death battle between Gojo versus Makima. Now, I've been thinking a lot about this. I got the video queued up. I've been thinking about it because I knew I was going to react to this video today. I think Gojo takes this one. I, I don't think it's going to, and I really don't think it's going to be a contest because, like, it's not like last time with Bardock and Omni Man where I was just a bozo and I screwed up. This one, I think it's. They might be a little evenly matched, but I don't think. Th the big thing is I don't think Makima has the out for the uh, Gojo's domain expansion, the Infinite Void. I'm representing today, okay? I got that Gojo swag. Yeah, I've read up to Chainsaw Man, I think like the first 12 or 13 volumes, basically what's the end of part one. For people who've read the manga, we all know what we're talking about. I haven't read beyond that point, but I don't think there are any feats you can do with Mak. Okay, quick warning. This video is going to contain spoilers for Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man because, I'm going to give you a second, both these characters are dead. Makima dies at the end of part one and then she comes back as a little girl and Gojo is killed by Sukuna in, in my opinion, a pretty BS kill. I mean, I haven't read the manga. I just know about the kill because it was spoiled for everybody. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I want to know the people who actually don't know that he's dead. If you if this was if your first if your first time figuring out that he was dead was me telling you I'm sorry but I did give you the spoiler warning I'm not sure, I'm not I don't remember how old this video is I don't even know if the the stuff came out as it was happening but yeah I'm trying I'm still trying to think yeah how does she have anything that would even pierce his attacks or pierce his infinity this is an easy dub for Gojo no contest we'll ha we'll have to see I'm, I'm I wonder what feats they're gonna give Makima but we'll have to see all right. And uh, here we go. Woo! Satoru Gojo, Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcerer Sensei. Makama, Chainsaw Man's head of Tokyo Public Safety. These two paranormal mentors are so strong that they change the very worlds they exist in. Oh, Gojo, definitely. He did it when he was born. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ah, pixel animation. I was kind of hoping for like the 2D Japan. animation. December 7th, 1989. Yep. Satoru Gojo was born. Yep. And the world changed. <laughs> in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen, invisible cursed spirits born from negativity threaten humanity. So it's up to the Jujutsu sorcerers Ooh. to do battle with them. And what better way to learn the, the animation in Jujutsu Kaisen is top Jujutsu tier, man. It's insane. At this institution, a sorcerer will learn to harness their cursed energy or the spiritual manifestation of intense emotion. It's mm -hmm. like key, but if key desperately needed therapy, it's key it, chakra, then it's whatever. Techniques. Anything from voodoo dolls to swapping places with mere class. And lucky for humanity, Satoru Gojo's the best sensei a sorcerer could Yeah, Gojo's for. tall. He's 6'3". Gojo is the best. He's known as the strongest. His very birth forced the strength of curses to exponentially rise. Is Among Us crossed out? Is that because people kept calling him an imposter after he was after he got killed? The might of Gojo's presence. As a kid, oh, yeah. Gojo knew he was the shit. He mastered the art of the riz, the hoops, and the, the curse riz. All along. Alongside Sugaru Ghetto, Aww. his sorcerer BFF. Together, they planned on changing Jujutsu society for the better. And if anyone could do it, mm. Gojo Gojo could, thanks to his bloodline, he got one of the most that's one of my favorite openings ever. of all time. Limitless, limitless, limitless. Gojo, Forgot, yeah, I called defense, it the wrong thing earlier. Actualizing the very concept of infinity. It creates an infinite space around himself, stopping anything coming his way. The dude is literally untouchable. Kind of. Gojo's I almost look at Gojo's power. Ours is like the manipulation of space and velocity as the difference between himself and an object decreases limitless mm -hmm. halves the object's velocity yeah it's like xeno's paradox oh, yeah. this way if you're trying to get from point a to point b first you gotta go halfway then you gotta go another halfway then another and another and, and so on with limitless you'll never arrive just like my alimony payments hence infinity yeah, it might sound complicated, but it basically creates a spatial force field around Gojo at all times. Yep. Techniques on this level would burn out other sorcerers in seconds. That's where Gojo's incredible six eyes come in. They let him see and near perfectly control cursed energy mm -hmm. at the atomic level. So he'll basically never run out of juice in a fight. He is just <laughs> built different. He was born different. Six eyes and limitless gave Gojo the power to manipulate space itself. Oh yeah, Gojo's space manipulation. technique attracts and condenses space into singularity. With reversal red, Gojo does the opposite, repelling space. Think push and pull. But you may be asking, how does one accomplish this with cursed energy? With math! 
<laughs> what? Curses! Exactly! Curse energy is typically negative, like with blue, but when multiplied by itself, negative curse energy becomes positive, creating red. Oh, strawberry and blueberry. So, what the dumbasses of Itadori and Nova in the background. Negative. Uh, grape? Zero. And by combining reversal red and lapsed blue, Ooh. Gojo creates hollow purple, an enormous ball of curse energy oh, that yeah. literally applies the concept of zero to an opponent, crushing and repelling them into nothing. Gojo is a walking cursed Swiss army knife. Levitation, teleportation, even expanding limitless to fry his enemies. Gojo can also use positive energy to heal humongous wounds, and he's constantly refreshing his brain with it 24 7 to keep up with all of this. Still, there's one technique that costs more Ryoiki than anything else in a sorcerer's repertoire. Every sorcerer is born with an innate domain, a mental world shaped by their mind and heart. Add cursed energy to it, and these domains can be manifested physically. A technique called domain expansion. Every sorcerer worth their salt needs one. And you know damn well Gojo has the scariest. Unlimited void. You get caught in this, your ass is grass. Exposure to unlimited void. What's Makima going to do against this? A stream of infinite information. A mere fifth of a second of exposure can leave a normal person in a vegetated state for months. Too bad it requires so much energy you can only do it like once a day. Oh wait, except for Gojo. Except for Gojo. He's done it multiple times in a row. Thanks again, Six Eyes. Quite frankly, Gojo was getting so strong that the axis of the Jujutsu world began to turn on him. Oh, like yeah. Like the meta of a fighting game defined by one broken character, he defined the hierarchy <sighs> of power in the sorcerer world. He alone was the honored one. His mere presence can cause earthquakes. He outran sonic explosions and applied cursed energy within a microsecond. Gojo Ooh. has been repeatedly stated by many to be the strongest sorcerer there is. That includes his ex-student Hikari, who can dodge lightning, oh. or this little volcano-headed cursed Jogo, the embodiment of humanity's fear of fire, who can bring down city shattering. Oh my meters. god. And Gojo kicked his ass with zero effort. Zero but effort. alone was not enough to fix Literally his nothing at all. World. When Ghetto rejected Jujutsu society to forge his own justice, Gojo's philosophy changed. Instead of doing everything himself, he would teach a new generation of sorcerers to carry the torch when he could not. It's all about setting an example. There it is, not nah, I'd win. Where his companions can stand shoulder to shoulder as equals. Who cares if he's got to show off a bit? Ah, what a beautiful Ooh, day. Aww. The sun is shining. It's so beautiful. The birds are singing. And a giant AK-47 carpet bombed the neighborhood. Yeah. The sky rains blood. Millions are dead. Dear God, wish it's the end times. Run away. Calm down. There's no reason to panic. It's just that in the world of Chainsaw Man, devils exist and your fear makes them strong. Oh, yeah. Never mind panic remember that spider you shrieked at or the last time you cut yourself dicing onions now the spider and knife devils are the monstrous products of your nightmares and they hate you specifically the fearsome gun devil stood as the epitome oh, of yeah. terror and destruction and was responsible for a countless loss of lives but a group was formed to combat it and the other devils that plagued humanity really the wish we could have gotten a cool fight against the gun devil it really felt like it happened off screen problem? it's time to call the fourth division of the public Safety yeah. devil extermination. A government funded devil so hunter cool. unit led by a stone cold vixen. Maka. Oh, I forgot how hot she is. With a blank stare and a sadistic streak. She's been in the game for a while and just found herself a new prize. The union of man and pet devil dog, Denji, the chainsaw man. Upon meeting him, she gave him a choice. Live under her as a human dog or die by her hand as a devil. Sounds sketch, but Denji's brain was set to teenage boy and Makama's hot! So in short order, Makama got a new pet. Makama may seem terrifying at first, but she is a dog lover and a cinephile. Though you'd be ill-advised to mess with her. Sure, for her position, you'd expect her to know how to defend herself. Martial arts here, sword play there, but devil hunters like Makama become real threats when they make contracts with devils. A classic Faustian bargain. Give something of yourself. The devil gives you power. She can call devil <laughs> on anyone she chooses through a complicated ritual and even survive being shot through the head. Yep. Because, as they say in the Devil Hunter world, you need your screws loose to live. But she might have more than a few screws loose because, <laughs> in actuality, Makama is a devil herself.
Gasp. Gasp. There's no way this clearly evil character could be a villain in disguise. Oh yeah. Yeah, not a great twist, honestly. I on Makuma ever since she was born. Rightfully so. She isn't some F-tier scrub like the Bat or Leech Devils. She's the control devil, embodying humanity's collective fear of the oppressor. In a way, she's even more terrifying than the gun devil. Makuma oh, yeah. can exert absolute mental control over any creature she views as inferior to her, which is basically really? when people, animals, even other devils become puppets under her command. I forgot about she that classification of her powers. Senses to listen and see whatever she wants. As oh. a devil, Makuma's far stronger, faster, and more durable than the average person. Plus, her metabolism lets her slam down as many beers as she wants to. So, uh, Makuma, if you're into countlessly divorced alcohol, Rednecks, uh, ah. you know who to go. By drinking blood, she can heal her injuries, and her sense of smell is so potent that it can spot targets from over 300 miles away. Not only can really? she control your mind, but your body too with telekinesis. She can mess up your internal organs or blow you away with finger guns. She doesn't shoot you with invisible bullets. She points at you, and then a wound just happens out of nowhere. She can oh, that could get past it, the limitless. Chains that stab her victims. Once they're hooked, they're easy to control. Makaba has plenty of devils in her collection. There's the massive fox devil, the future devil for precognition, and a ton of devils that exist just to stab you. But I'm definitely <laughs> all about the blow shit up devil, the Bomb undead devil, party devil, zombies. the flamethrower devil, and the unholy matrimony that's the angel devil, which will make you see God before you die. Eh, after about the 20th time seeing God gets kind of old. Anyway, Back away. <clears throat> like other devils, the punishment devil, mold devil, huh? Give them power. But unlike other devils, her control powers allow her to force people into contracts that exclusively benefit her. Like when she forced Japan's prime minister into a contract that states, and I quote, <clears throat> Any attack made on her will be changed into appropriate illnesses or accidents among Japanese citizens. What? Uh, what? The verbiage of Makuma's contract is worded specifically so that she quickly heals from any damage that is perceived to be an attack, transferring said damage to some poor random citizen of Japan. Oh man, imagine like taking uh, a shit and Makuma gets hit and whoops, guess you're wiping at the pearly gates. With these abilities and contracts, Makuma set out to create the world that she wanted. No more pain, no more war, no more bad movies. The no world more bad would movies. be perfect, but she needed the Chainsaw Devil to do so, who just so happened to be oh, living yeah. as Denji's heart. Yep, that cute doggo is actually the Chainsaw Devil. Ooh, talk about shitty luck, kid. In the depths of hell, Makuma watched in awe as the Chainsaw Devil literally ate devils and eradicated plagues from existence. Oh yeah. Because of the Chainsaw Devil, in this world, concepts like nuclear bombs, HIV, Nazis, Nazis, yeah, Nazis. do not exist. He literally ate the concept of Nazis out of existence. However, as really Makuma want to know what their world, Denji, what they think of happened in World War II. Her, she could not directly control him she needed to manipulate him so she decided to build uh, denji up uh, and him down as cruelly as possible first she murdered denji's found family one by one then she made chainsaw man into a public hero stripping him of the power devils received by being feared oh so she could control her precious chainsaw brilliant and make him press backspace on anything she didn't like her telekinetic bangs shot the chainsaw devil out of orbit and oh. they stalemated the darkness devil which embodies humanity's greatest fears Makim is stronger than devils okay like i might need to reread the anime easily blow up buildings or the typhoon devil which made city spanning storms and while fighting the gun devil fragment this large behemoth moved over 300 Holy miles in a few shit. seconds she was pretty much unbeatable, though ultimate power can make it pretty lonely at the top. Makama's quest may have been to make the world a better place through domination, but the truth she was never willing to admit to herself was that she really wanted to understand human emotion. After all, Aww. you can't control someone and love them at the same time. Too bad she never quite found the answer she was looking for when the Chainsaw Man defeated her once and for all by cutting her to pieces, cooking her into a seven-course feast, and fucking ate her? Yep. Believe it or not, the love that Bakuma happened. tried to understand was her undoing. Despite the hell she put him through, Denji still loved Makaba in his own way. So the act of devouring her was its own act of love and did not count 
out as an attack, bypassing her immortality. Completely batshit insane. That's Jane's. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, on the, on the shark. Is, eventually, the control devil will come back, though it won't be Makuma. While her path back to hell was paved with good intentions, in the world of devils, it's no surprise that Makuma came so close to her ideal future. <laughs> I'm going to need to reread re Chainsaw Man. Hold on. Oh my god. I forgot a lot of this stuff, man. I got to reread it. It sounds awesome. I got to keep reading Chainsaw Man. I I got to I got to I got to I really wish uh the Chainsaw Man anime got more than 13 episodes. It was like 12. I don't even remember, but not enough. We got not enough episodes. I still think Gojo's going to take this. I think Makima's powerful, but she's not powerful enough. The interesting thing is, the interesting interaction is that they said she'll point at you and go bang, and there's no actual projectile. The flesh will just they'll just uh, will just appear. The flesh will bust open like there's been a wound, and that is very interesting because that could definitely get past Gojo's infinity. But he does have reverse curse techniques to heal himself, so I think anything that she can dish out, he can recover from. And the only thing that really tricks me is uh, the uh, whole any damage or attack inflicted on her will be reverted to a Japanese citizen. I think Gojo could kill her enough times to where everybody in Japan just gets fucking murked. Bro, uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Now it's time for the good part, the saucy, saucy animation. All right. And 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 I'm much more confident this time than I was with Omni-Man versus Bardock. Last time I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what side I'm on. This time I'm like, no, 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 no. It's Gojo. Don't, don't do this to me again. It's Gojo. All right, let's go. All right, the combatants are set. set. We've run the data through Love all the possibilities. Lilies. But first, a couple of rules for a unique fight like this one. We'll be considering curses and devils to be comparable beings to avoid arbitrary terminology in their power systems that might make this fight incompatible. Okay. We'll also consider Gojo and Makama citizens of the same Japan to balance it out. It's time okay. For Interesting. Battle! I wonder how that's going to come into play. Oh, that's cool. Go Satoru Gojo was spent. That's super cool. They're phrasing it like they do in Jujutsu Kaisen. I love it. She's just at it. <laughs> Ooh, they're watching Samurai Jack versus Afro Samurai. <laughs> love this part. Well, could have been some clicks right about now. <laughs> That's what they're fighting over. Gojo's being a nut. Curse, do as they please. I love this. Wow. Oh, that was too. Oh, I love the bits of 2D animation. Curse technique laps. Work. Womp womp. Oh no, that poor guy! That was awesome! Careful. I could have died, but that much won't matter to you soon. Oh, who's playing Makima in this? The strongest. <laughs> Confident, strong, and idiotic. Ooh, she sounds hot. We'll be sure to write it on your tombstone. Prop to the actress. Oh, that was cool that she disappeared. Call. Ooh, she did the thing! Oh yeah, there's no way that was gonna work. Flamethrower devil! I hope we don't kill you too quickly. Yeah, but it's not gonna work. If, if Jugo did couldn't get it done. Since you're so weak. Oh I'm a Ooh! <laughs> bang, bang! 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 <laughs> He's still laughing though. Oh! Now, be a good boy and play dead. <laughs> oh shit! Should I bark too? I'm getting really tired of your pets. Oh! What? Main expansion. Unlimited void. 
throughout heaven. Too much information. I alone am the honored one. Get her ass! <sighs> Eliminated the one known as the control devil. Non sorcerer. A thousand and twelve non sorcerers were killed. Places offering discounted tickets or too soon. They'll order online. Gojo and Makama were complicated to compare. On the surface level, Gojo had a lot going for him. It's no surprise given that his reputation in Jujutsu Kaisen is that of its pinnacle. At least it was. First of all, it's unlikely Makama would see Gojo as inferior to her, in a similar way to how she saw Denji. So she wouldn't be able to immediately control Gojo. Gojo's birth caused a giant shift in the world of curses. Plenty of people have recognized that after only seeing him once. Ooh, Being that's a good point. Is literally Gojo. Remember when those assassins were, were sent to assassinate him as a kid, but they were too scared? Positive cursed energy 24-7. Oh. Even if Makama could control him, it wouldn't last very long. Ooh. Gojo is obviously stronger, too. The best feat we can compare Makama to is the Typhoon Devil Storms. But that's nothing compared to the meteor created by Jogo, who is leagues below Gojo in strength. However, considering she reacted to the Gun Devil Fragment, Makama would actually be a bit faster. Though she would need to be able to get past Limitless for her speed to matter. Makama had more devils than you can shake a fin at, but most were rendered moot against Limitless. Knives, fire, bombs, zombies, it's all stuff Gojo's dealt with before, and with zero issues. And Gojo could easily wipe out her demonic crowd with red and blue whenever he wanted to. The future devil could clue her in on anything nasty coming her way, but that wouldn't last forever. Plus, with Gojo's six eyes and teleportation, she had zero opportunities to break away and set up her instant kill moves. But Gojo would obviously lose if he couldn't permanently kill Makama. Six Eyes couldn't inform him of Makama's contract with the Prime Minister, and eventually one of Gojo's attacks could cause his death instead. Oh. Even if it took a while. And Makama did have a way past Limitless with her finger guns. Makama could land attacks directly on Gojo's body, meaning there's no projectile for Limitless to detect and infinitely slow down. Though when they did land, Gojo's healing ensured that he repaired his body quickly. Yeah, I said that. These are all things I said. Makama didn't have a counter to Gojo's domain expansion. Unlimited Void overloads its target with unlimited information it's not really an attack you could call it an attack on the senses but even if she could transfer it to other Japanese citizens she still could not escape an infinite amount of information we can compare this to the doll devil who was defeated by a technique similar to unlimited void really? despite being able to transfer her mind across a large number of hosts the doll devil was still trying to transfer infinite information across finite people even with all of japan as mental meat shields makama would still be overwhelmed wait doesn't that mean gojo just unintentionally killed basically everyone in japan don't think about it <laughs> don't Regardless, think about it gojo is immune to his own unlimited void so he was still unaffected Ooh. good for him the moment Unlimited Void landed, Makama would be stuck, opening her up for a good old hollow purple. Her contract isn't perfect. Makama only ever regenerated as long as there was some mass to come back from. But hollow purple disintegrates anything it touches to zero. Literally, there's no way she was regenerating from that. Sure, control as a concept will always exist, but a reincarnation of the control devil isn't Makama. This was one of the craziest fights we've ever had. However, with Gojo's raw power, broken counters, and unbelievably busted Limitless, Makama lost control over this fight. Makama thought she had Gojo by the ball and chain, but in the end, she was left hollow. The winner is Satoru Gojo. My boy! That went pretty much how I thought it was gonna go. The thing I forgot about is that, yeah, tech, they said it at the beginning that Gojo's gonna be, they're gonna be part of the same Japan. So when it says that Makima's injuries will be transferred to as injuries or illnesses to the people in the citizens of Japan, Gojo is one of those citizens. It's like that, it's like that thing, it's like that joke or that scenario people say where it's like, oh, you push this button, but somebody you know will, or somebody random on the earth will die, uh, and you just keep pushing it, eventually you're going to hit yourself. Yeah, Infinite Void was the perfect counter to that. That's it's very well done, Death Battle, I think. This is one of those ones I don't imagine people have a lot of problems with. I think this is very much like, oh yeah, Gojo was going to win this. It, it makes it makes so much sense. It's no Ben 10 versus Green Lantern, I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. And then I, I was almost confused for a second because I almost forget, because I'm like, Makima can make take anything that she views as inferior to her and make it her slave. 
But then, yeah, I forgot. Gojo is pretty much going to show off to the fact that he is not inferior to her. He's going to be doing it the entire time. Plus, with the uh, with the recursed energy that he's flushing into his brain all the time. Yeah, I don't think the control would have worked. But yeah, great death battle. Um, great every I'm, ha I'm very happy I reacted to it. Comment below. Let me know what you guys want me to react to next. It could be all kinds of things on the internet. I'm, I'm branching out. I'm doing nostalgia critics. I'm doing other death battles. Tell me which death battles because I'm blanking on which ones me and Jason have already re reacted to or not. I want you to go into excruciating detail about the things you want me to react to. <laughs> Makes my job easier. <laughs> Let me know if you guys enjoyed. I read all the comments. I really appreciate some comments. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Bye.